don't think these kids need cats. I think they need discipline. I think they need a slap yep. in the face. You just got a small taste of one of the most unhinged segments on Fox News that I've ever seen. And listen, folks, I've talked about Fox News a lot on this channel. It takes a lot to get me to be genuinely surprised by the things that they say. But in this particular Fox News outnumbered show segment, the way that they get irrationally triggered by the mention of college students is just astounding to me. So this is what they were reacting to. It's a headline from Fox News about a study which reads, cats at college, highly emotional students may benefit from felines on campus study. They add interventions with cats on campus may help stressed students study fines. So the study essentially finds that cats and petting cats can be soothing for stressed out students during stressful times. For example, midterms, final exams. But Fox News is not okay with that. And they're going to make it very clear based on generalizations, made up things, and just stupidity that if you need a cat to get through college, well, you should just drop out. Also, you're a beta. Now, the host is going to open this segment by using one of the most condescending, patronizing tones I've ever heard from a human being. And I've got to say, this is one of the most insufferable hosts I've ever seen on Fox News. So it's four minutes. I'm going to play it all. And then I have a lot to say when we come back. Enjoy. College students have it so rough these days, from climate anxiety to just the idea of a conservative speaker on campus. It is all so stressful. Well, now, thankfully, a new study has found that interventions with cats on campuses may help these stressed out students. I guess the taxpayers picking up their student loan tab wasn't enough, Julie. <laughs> I love cats. I just want to say that. And they are comforting. But I mean, quite frankly, if you're in college and you need a cat, but yet you have the anxiety level of a protester where you're out there protesting about everything on campus, then I don't know if you really need a cat. I, I'm not really sure. But this is just another example of how uh, we are raising snowflakes. <laughs> because I mean, if you honestly can't make it in college, then just drop out. I mean, uh, well, although I know a lot of people want to take advantage of the freebies, but just drop out anyway. Do us all a favor. I don't think animal rights activists would be too proud of this either. I wouldn't want any college student manhandling my cat. <laughs> yeah, but Kaylee, I don't think these kids need cats. I think they need discipline. I think they need a slap yep. in the face because these are the same oh kids that get a professor fired for being too hard on their way to medical Great school. Point. These are kids that can't even listen to a conservative viewpoint. They shout out speakers. They chase them off campus. But a cat will make everything better. Guess what? That doesn't work in the real world. World. Yeah, you're talking about my, my professor that I love so much <laughs> back at NYU. NYU. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, I remember uh, on one of my campuses getting a note that there would be dogs and puppies for us uh, to <laughs> soothe us during exam oh, time. Funny. And I thought, is this real? Mm -hmm. I mean, no. What a distraction for kids who don't want to study. Don't number know. one. <laughs> number two, I don't need to be coddling a puppy. I need my, you know, organic chemistry book if I'm, you know, in, in pre-med here. This is insanity. Give me a cup. A cup of coffee, a cookie, and a stack of books, mm -hmm. and I'm set. I don't need a puppy in my lap to study for exams. That's right. But they're also getting free tuition, too. So the list is endless of what these kids, kids are getting with our tax dollars. Uh, it is, and it's also part of the indoctrination. I mean, they are being trained. You might go in there thinking, I've got to get my philosophy book. I've got to get, you know, the chemistry book. And then you're told effectively by this, the university, no, you need a puppy. <laughs> this, right. is, this is what you need. You need. I mean, cats, I'm not so sure. Cats could walk away from you, which is even more traumatic when they don't come when they're called. But so, you know, I was on Wall Street walking my dog, my colleague, Shepard Mix, who's since passed away, named Sydney. And there were students at Wall Street near uh, the stock market. And they all ran at us, and Sydney loved it. But they said, we're, we're studying, we're in the midst of finals. And I said, I said, well, instead of hugging my dog, you should go back to studying. Amen. Tammy. And this, this is because it's the training for the real world. No one's going to hand you a puppy in the real world. And I think that's one of the most important lessons, right? Yep, 100%. <laughs> Nuts. I was hoping for a puppy on the couch. Maybe a cat. Okay, these kids are the problem. I mean, all joking aside, they're the problem. If you need a cat or you need a puppy, you don't belong in college. By the way, which was harder, con law or orgo? I mean, yeah, 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 I didn't take you, organic chem. I took con law and oh, I loved okay. it. Yeah, yeah con law so. was great. Big red book. These, this is an idea of building a society of betas. 
All right. We've achieved because we're a society of people who look forward, who are entrepreneurs, who go out and find something. Uh, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, all these innovators out there, Bill Gates, home, they founded something in a garage instead of petting a cat. They programmed a keyboard. Maybe somebody started a manufacturing plant with an idea. Come on, these kids are not the problem. By the way, how do you take care of the cats? How do you take care of the dogs? Where's PETA? And why are you going to hurt the cats and the dogs by putting bad kids who can't get around life on top of them? Come on, really? <laughs> well, I'm sure there will be protests from all the kids with allergies, so just mm. wait for the backlash. That yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the other side of the snowflakes, I can't handle it. All right, we're outnumbered in just a moment. I don't even know where to begin. Just <sighs> that right there was brain damage. Every single host right there has brain damage. I just don't understand why you react that way. <laughs> like when I see this study, I feel nothing but ambivalence. I just, I don't care. I couldn't care less about whether or not cats are soothing to college students. I think that college is an inherently stressful period in one's life. So if petting a cat helps get you through that, there's nothing wrong with that. But other people, you know, they find other things to be soothing, perhaps a cup of coffee and a cookie, as Kaylee McEnany alluded to. But apparently that as like a coping mechanism for stressful times is fine. But cats, that's just like beyond the pale. I just, I don't, get it i genuinely don't understand it college is a stressful time as much as they want to downplay that and i'd argue that if you're not stressed out by college then you're not taking it serious but they claim that if you are stressed out by college and you need a cat to help you through stressful times as you know a form of coping and soothing then that just means you should i guess drop out this is just wild to me so the man at the end there said that they're betas and <laughs> he, implied, he implied that this is going to lead to students not wanting to become entrepreneurs <laughs> because they'll be so caught up uh, by cats and so enamored by cats and they'll pet cats so much that they'll do that in lieu of having like careers. So you see, Bill Gates and Elon Musk, they're successful currently because they didn't pet cats. <laughs> ever because the sight of one cat and just petting one cat it's going to hypnotize you and then you're done you're just going to want to do that for the rest of your life folks these are adults these are actual grown-ups having this conversation this was this is one of the dumbest conversations i've ever heard also the guy said where's PETA and why are you going to hurt the cats and the dogs by putting them with bad kids okay so he starts his argument <laughs> so fucking stupid he starts his argument by saying well they're so enamored by the cats because they love them so much that they're never going to do anything else with their lives and then he says oh now they want to hurt the cats bitch nobody's talking about hurting the fucking cats like it's all about petting cats because they like cats because the cats help them to relieve stress i just they're jumping to so many fucking conclusions it's insane to me now going back to the beginning of that clip this condescending asshole starts by saying college students have it so rough these days from climate anxiety to just the idea that conservatives uh, speak on campus. OK, if you're not actually anxious about the climate, then I'd argue that you are a stupid person because you can see around you the way that the weather patterns have gotten more extreme, how ice caps are melting. So that is stressful. That is an added layer of stress that younger generations have to deal with that older generations did not have to deal with. Sure, there were environmental issues when older generations went to college, but now we're reaching what appears to be the end point of humanity because late stage capitalism has led to the commodification of our environment and we are allowing private corporations to destroy the planet also they can make short term profits. I think that if that doesn't stress you out, then I just I'd imagine that you're the real psychopath in this instance, but they think that if you're stressed out during college, which is perfectly normal, you're like unworthy or something it's so bizarre to me so bizarre to me at my college they did have dogs in one of the midterms for like soothing you could pet the dogs i didn't attend it because it was happening like after i had classes and i didn't want to go back to campus for that um but college is stressful look i was very stressed out as a college student i had to work full time i worked two different jobs um and i not to toot my own horn graduated with honors but I was stressed out. Does that inherently mean that I was a bad student? 
No, because college is stressful. And even if you weren't going to college around that time in your life, early 20s, uh, you know, after graduating high school, it's still a very stressful time in your life when you transition from adolescence to adulthood. So it's just normal to be stressed out, but they make these kids seem as if they're uh, invalid or defective if they're stressed out from college. I mean, were you all not stressed out in college? It just it just doesn't make sense to me. Also, um, they just made a bunch of things up. Oh, the taxpayers are picking up the student loan tabs, and that wasn't enough. Also, tuition is free. Hey, did you all hear that tuition is free? The dumbass dingbat Fox News host claimed that tuition is free, but um, I didn't get the memo, did you? Now, what she's referring to is student debt cancellation. I don't know if that host had a problem paying for PPP loans, and those that were forgiven, but college students got a fraction of their student debt forgiven. I think that canceling ten to twenty thousand dollars worth of student debt for younger generations and anyone who's affected by student debt is the bare minimum that the government can do for people. Because previous generations, boomers, they were able to put themselves through school by working at Taco Bell and they weren't burdened by debt. They were able to support themselves and a family. But nowadays you can work multiple jobs and try to do everything in your power to be responsible and still graduate with debt. But if you don't put yourself through college and acquire said debt, well, it's gonna be more difficult for you in your future to find a good paying job. So it's almost a requirement to have a college degree to get a good paying job because that is the equivalent of a high school diploma in 2022 America. But they make it seem as if like people are just going to college um, because it's free, so why not? And there's all this cool free stuff in college. Lady, have you ever been to college? Now, this same lady, who I think is the dumbest person on the panel, she said that, um, I don't think that these students need a cat. I think they need discipline. I think they need a slap in the face because they are the same students who get their professor fired for being too hard on their way to medical school. I mean, you just made that up. First of all, do you have any evidence that the students in this particular study are the exact same students that got their medical professors fired if the professor was too hard? I, I mean, I know that that's not what she's saying, so I'm being facetious here, but she's literally just making that up. Do you understand? She literally said, I think they need a slap in the face. I mean, why do you hate college students so much? I, it genuinely doesn't make sense. I don't think that I hate Fox News hosts as much as these Fox News hosts hate college students because I just can't muster up the shit to give about these fuckers. But the way that they're just apoplectic at the mention of college students is genuinely bizarre to me. Um, another one said, I don't think animal rights activists would be too proud of this either. Uh, I wouldn't want any college student manhandling my cat. So another person on this panel was implying that these students are going to be like, I guess, violent with the cats. Like, we're going to manhandle it. You're going to pick it up like a pizza and fucking twist it and throw it up in the air. They're going to pet the cats. I, I mean, I just, <laughs> again, I genuinely don't understand. Like, I, I feel like they're being purposefully obtuse just to shit on college students in any way they possibly can. But in doing so, they make themselves look like idiots because of how hyperbolic and absurd they're being in their analogies and their statements. And then the lady who was walking her dog on Wall Street, she said that the puppies, this is all part of the indoctrination. Smart, okay, see, you go to college, a conservative and a Christian, and then you see the puppies, and immediately you start to question the existence of God. You begin to question, question the, <laughs> the wisdom of Friedman and trickle-down economics. I mean, I, I, I try to be as charitable as I can be in these videos, but what we just saw there was genuine stupidity. Like we saw actual stupid people make stupid comments. And I feel like if you can take this segment and put it in a time capsule and show it to society a hundred years from now, assuming we survive catastrophic climate change, they're going to be so perplexed by the political discourse in 2022 America that they won't believe it. They'll think that this was a parody from a satirical movie. That's how insane this is. So, I mean, this is Fox News. This is the discourse that you get. In response to a study confirming the obvious that cats can be soothing, they can relieve stress because obviously they're amazing during college times. Well, that's just evidence that college students, all of them, by the way, are pieces of shit. And maybe they should just drop out if you need a cat to relieve stress. Look, I don't think that the article says that students need a cat. Just that 
a cat can be soothing during stressful times in the same way that pot or a video game can be soothing. I feel like this isn't that revolutionary of a finding. In fact, the study, I'd argue, was probably pretty pointless because I could have told you that without the evidence. It's just kind of a, yeah, obviously thing. But either way, this sent Fox hosts into an unhinged frenzy, and I feel like they, they need to be embarrassed. Like, people need to let them know how embarrassed they should be about that because what they just said there was stupid, and if they had any dignity, they would all quit their jobs at Fox News and never show their faces again. That's how bad this segment was. I mean, these people, holy shit, their brains are completely rotten. If you look closely, you can probably see brain goo dripping out of their ears. Like, that's how fucking stupid these dolts are. Holy shit. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. Bitches. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.